Good evening, everyone. Once again, this is your host, Simone Foster. And um, right now, we're getting ready to do something a little different than what we normally do here at Teens for Christ. I know you guys are used to me having one um, guest. Well, we've done different things sometimes. But tonight, we're just going to do just an all-out discussion. And tonight's topic is summertime tips. Maybe some of the consequences that a lot of young people don't think about that will come up when you do things that are not like we're trying to tell you guys about positive events, positive mm -hmm. things, positive environments, and even positive people to start being around because it's never too late to change. Yes, it's the summer. It's just begun, but it doesn't mean that you can't say, okay, this summer, I'm going to try something different. This summer, I'm not going to hang out with these group of people. This summer, I'm going to get a job. Like, mm, you, you know, move. what are some, I don't want to say negative, but let's do some scared straight stuff. Like, have you guys ever encountered any things, um, any stories or any testimonies even about young people that have dealt with some things? Just going out thinking nothing of it, but it was just wrong place at the wrong time or whatever. Wow. Mm. You know, it's <laughs> there is... Uh, 12 year old little girl who uh, has been kind of shifted around. Life is, was just blown up in her, where she had a mother who was a crack addict, uh, father who was there and not there. At 12 years old, this little girl decided that she was grown because she had no one there to tell her what was right. And she ends up just kind of hanging out on the streets, doing whatever she wants to do. And um, her li I don't want to go into a whole lot of detail, but her life mm. at 12 years old was worse than some 20-year-olds have seen. And it's primarily, and it, it's just back to parenting. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, I know we're asking for some of, the, uh, some, some of the negative things that can happen. Well, getting caught up in, in, in a gang situation where this young girl thought that being in a gang would be the th right thing for her. Yeah. And as you first come into that, it looks like it's, it's there for you. Yeah. Yeah. You have everything you need. You have your, your, your family <coughs> structure, let's say. You have people that are supposed to look out after you. But the initiation process yeah. is the meaning. Yeah. And it it's lasts down. forever. There's yeah. no getting out of that, right. those images that you had to go through in order to become a part of this, especially for a young lady. Exactly. Yeah. And so those are some of the things that I would encourage any young folks to, uh, to look at is um, gangs are not the answer. Yeah. Uh, gangs is only a Band-Aid to a bigger problem. If you look at what's really broke and try to fix that, then you'll be okay. And I'm going to share this story right after I go to the promo. We're about to do a quick little commercial break if that's what you want to call it, of all of our promotions. So if you guys could just tune into this, a little bit of our information about what's coming up and things to come.
too. All right. So thank you guys so much for checking out those promotional items. I keep saying that, but we don't have any promotional items. Okay, the little commercial that we had. Thank you guys. But really quickly, I'm gonna add. I mean, throw in this story. I remember um, I have three sisters, and my older sister, her friend, uh, they were just having like a. It was a summer barbecue because they had just graduated. And um, so my parents were like, oh, yeah, you guys can go. And we had our little baby sister with us. And she was, I think, around the time she was two or three years old. And um, I was holding her, and we were sitting on the bench. And, of course, you know, uh, they weren't, they weren't church-going people. I'll put it that way. And so there was a lot of stuff going on and being said, and I was even out. And uh, me just being raised, that, or me and my sisters being raised that, I mean, being raised the way that we were, sometimes you feel uncomfortable in that environment, but you don't say anything because they're your friends and mm -hmm. stuff. So we're sitting there, and all of a sudden, my baby sister pees on me. There's a reason why I'm sharing this story. She pees on me. Okay. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. She just peed on me in front of all these people. We have no diapers. We don't have anything, right? So we were just like, okay, we got to go. When I tell you guys, literally, the way the park was set up, you walk out of this gate or whatever. We we're walking out. Me and my sisters, we were telling everybody bye. We we're walking out. This car pulls up. Three guys get out the car and shoot the whole park up. I mean, literally, wow. after we walked out the Look gate, we took off running down the street, like, screaming. We, we, we ran the total direction, opposite direction of where our car was parked. We just started running. And... It, now that I look back on it, I was just talking to my sister about it the other day. I said, you never know what God is capable of until you put yourself into a position where you, you are out of total, total control. control. That's right. And in the time, you didn't think, oh, this is, this is fine or whatever. Mm -hmm. But once it happened, it was just like, you know. And so that's why I brought up the question of what are some, there's some consequences to you going out and being with these people that you know you are not supposed to be with, that yeah. you know you're not supposed to be in that environment, you know you're not supposed to be at that party, yeah. at that thing, at that event. And so this is going to be, I know you want to share a story with us really quickly. Um, if you want to share it, go ahead, and then we'll do a closeout question and prayer and Whatever else. I don't else. know if I can top the three-year-old peeing on your leg, but... <laughs> I know, that was good, huh? That was yeah. good. No, I'm just playing. I mean, that would have made me leave the party. <laughs> I mean, what? But I know, and real quickly, uh, we had a young man in our group. He didn't pee on me. But anyway... I hope uh, not. I <laughs> we had a young hope man not. In our group. And his father would tell him to not hang out with a certain group of guys. Yeah. And long story made short, he would never listen. He wanted to do what he wanted to do, which unfortunately is a, is a common thought pattern for most youth, yeah. you know? Father couldn't explain to him enough why he didn't want him around those young men. Father were a graveyard. He decides, I'm going to go hang out with my friend. He's 13 years old. He goes out. I get a phone call later on that night that come to the hospital because he's been hurt. I get to the hospital, and he was sitting in the back seat of a hatchback. They were doing 100 miles an hour down the freeway, lost control. The car flips over. He flies out of the hatchback, wow. but his arm got caught in the seat belt. <gasps> So it flipped over with him attached to it. Now he's paralyzed from the neck down. See? And an awesome testimony he has for other youth about listening and obeying yes. what not only your parents, but what God is saying to you. Because the That's consequences me. all belong to him. Right. Yeah. And now yeah. he doesn't have the opportunity to do the things he wanted to do in life. Exactly. And so, like I said, we... Here on the Teens for Christ, we were just sharing with you guys some summer tips, some events that's coming up. I know we dibble-dabbled in a lot of things, but um, I hope that you guys get the message of it. We really want you guys to go out, have a great summer, have a fun yes. summer, but be, be safe. safe. Hey, be and safe. so we're going to close out in prayer now, um, Pastor Lewis, if you don't mind. And then even if we still have time, I wanted to just flow. I just wanted to transition. So go ahead and Father, we do thank you for this opportunity, God. And we pray for all the youth that are looking Touch and listening now, to this broadcast, yes, Lord. Lord. We pray now that your will be done your in the midst of their Lord. lives, God. Yes, God. For every Lord. senior in this place that have graduated, God, Touch we pray Lord. that you would open their ears to hear and their eyes to see Jesus. exactly what you have for their lives. Lord, bless teens for Christ as they Touch adventure out and move forward in the yes, things Lord. that you called them to do. Let your will be done will. through Mike and CJ and all the others attached to teens for Christ, Lord. We thank you for this host and her assistant host yes, that have asked us to come on. And we ask now that your will be your done, will. God. 
that you would move in this place, move God. Now, have Jesus. your way have and your none way. of our own. We do have bless you way. for chain breakers and all the other ministries that's attached yes, to the Lord. Christ. Yes, now Lord. that the will of God be done, God, as we lift you up.